I am going to remind you that whatever, whatever appears, whether it is a thought or a feeling, emotion, an image or an object, can only appear and disappear. They come and go, even if you have a favourite idea or a favourite thing. You cannot retain and maintain unbroken connection with it. By some force of nature they go, and another thing takes the stage for your seeing. And it's like that. And I say, if you just observe them, they are coming, this thing comes, and when it's here, they are putting on their finest performance, because you really engage with them. Some come, and you are not engaged with them. So they don't even register that they even came. They failed their audition. They didn't capture your attention. So later on, you won't even mention them. They didn't even show up. But some came. And wow! You know, they, they make strong impression. And with those things, something automatically can oppress, save. And it stays there somehow. You know? But even if it's press save, it's just in the bank, it's not in front of you. Everything is coming and going. Everything is coming and going. If things are noticed to be coming and going, there must be one to whom they appear, isn't it? You are the witness of the comings and goings of them. No? The one who witnesses the comings and goings is this one coming and going. Relative to the things that appear and disappear, that come and go, that arise and fall, all these things. It's a natural thing. We are not being you know, so far out. This is every day. Every person experiences this. Even mosquito experience this. Things come, they go. Things come and go. Okay? So even your favorite thoughts, your habits, they come and also go in front of you. So if you are only observing after a while, the traffic is just continuing, coming and going, coming and going, coming and going. So at some point you will log into them. You say, Ah, that one, ah, and you take a ride with that. And your attention will go off with it. So when I say to observe something, it is not only like that. At first you begin to see what is coming, and I say, be detached. Look, but don't log in. Would you understand if I said like that, everybody? Yeah. So it means that you are aware, but there are some things it feels that there is a temptation to log into them, isn't it? Because they have a particular energetic uh, relationship with you, and you want to give a bit more energy to them. Okay? But I'm saying, but you are just to notice that. Don't actually connect up with anything. Okay? What is the purpose of asking you to do that? Simply observe. What is the fruit of it? It's not just just keep looking at things coming and going. At a certain point, you are to pay attention to the place where you're looking from. The place where you're looking from, you know, is that an object? The place where you're looking from, not the thing you're looking at, because if you're looking for things, you'll keep on seeing things. Thoughts and feelings and peoples and memories and appointments and you know emails and all kinds of stuff will come, but at a certain point you become aware of just looking, the looking energy. When you are aware of that, then the focus of objects become just like a soup of sensations. You're not pulled in. You become aware of the the one looking. The one, the place from where the looking is, just the looking itself. Can you look at the looking? Even the looking, you know, someone, something is aware now. If somebody says, you know, uh, darling, it's time to come and have some tea. You say, uh, no, no, it's okay, not right now. What are you doing? Mm, just, I'm just uh, sitting quietly because you don't want to explain. It's too much. You are just observing the flow of uh, the mind, but you say, that can go on all day. 
And people have reported when they try to do just that, they say, after a while I get a headache, I can't keep it up. And I say, but that's not what you're being asked to do. To keep looking with detachment, don't get pulled into whatever you're looking at. Don't create, just let it just flow by, like clouds passing. But now, that which is looking, you see, just be present with just the, be the witness, the present. What is the witness? What is looking at all of this? What's it like at the place where the looking begins, the observing? Even is it possible that you can observe the functioning of observing? Is that going too far now? People arriving first time? If I say that just be aware, just be first just be the witness. Just be the witness. The witness means you're not involved in the traffic of sensations you are observing. What is the environment of the witness like? And then you pay attention to that. Is there a lot of movement going on there? Is there any movement going on at the place of the seeing? Is it not a stillness there? Mm. Is the seer purchasing impressions? Mm. Just aware of just observing. And then now you don't feel pulled into the traffic of impressions objects coming before you. Now your attention has to go to the seeing place. Now I want to ask you something, then I go one step further. The one who is seeing, that which is seeing all of these things, can this one itself be seen? This you must sit with. If you get this kind of instruction, you don't need two or three other instructions. You can stay just with this, because this is so potent with self-discovery that and picking up any other thing would be a kind of distraction, unnecessary. This is already enough food for you. <laughs>